I was asked to factor this equation, 2x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. So here's how we'll do it. What makes this a little harder is we have a 2 here in front of this x squared term. What we can do is we can move this x here over in our skeleton equation, and we'll put the 2 right there. Then it's a little bit more like a normal factoring type problem. So this is our skeleton equation, and when we have a negative and a negative, so both the middle term and that last term, if they're negative, we're going to put a plus and a negative in our skeleton here. So at this point, we've got a skeleton. We can find the factors of the last term, and normally they would equal the middle term, but here we kind of have this 2, so that's a little different. The factors for 1, we want to have a negative in the middle here. So if I put a negative 1 here, 1 times 1 is 1. So I'll put 1 here, because then when I multiply the 2, that'll give me the negative 2x. And with the 1 here, that's 1x. I should end up with negative x in the middle. So this is the solution for factoring 2x squared minus x minus 1. And we'll check this with the FOIL method here. So let's remove this, give ourselves some room. So first term, outside term, inside term, last term. That's the FOIL method we end up with. And then we can combine the negative 2x and the x. That'll just give us negative x. So we have, and this, this is what we started with. So we factored the equation 2x squared minus x minus 1 correctly. Let's take a moment and find the values for x that would make this whole side of the equation 0, a true statement. So we could say 2x plus 1 equals 0 and 2x equals negative 1, and divide both sides by 2, and we end up with x equals negative 1 half. Over here, we could say x minus 1 equals 0. We add 1 to both sides, we get x equals 1. So if you put negative 1 half here in for x, you did the math, you get 0. If you put 1 in for x, because 1 squared, that's 1, so we'd have 2 minus 1 minus 1, 2 minus 1 minus 1 equals 0. So that is a value that would make all of this 0, just like negative 1 half. If you use the quadratic equation, you'd get these same answers. This is Dr. B factoring the equation 2x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. Thanks for watching.